based upon your discussion with Greg now that you came to a conclusion that that seems to make sense, um, I'm assuming or I'm hoping anyway that the way you're getting to that would be to lean upon work that this committee is already paid to have done, i.e. the fair renewal study results, rather than recalculating the cost of fuel, the cost of the man hour on the right. tractor. You're going to start to use that as a base and just go. Yeah. Does that, so does that allow you? And then my second question, I guess, would be, in that you're looking at these projects, some are relatively large, to yeah. say the least, and some are pretty oh, yeah. simple. Some right. are just, you know, throw right. attack and throw right. attack. In your allocation of your man time, in your allocation of the man day specifically, do you have any sort of plan in mind about how to identify which one's going to take the most time so that you can get an answer to the task force? You got 62 and a half man days and then you're true. back up for September, you might not get the detail of data from the day until mid June, you don't make it. So, <coughs> what I'm trying to suggest to you is that you feel comfortable in what you're going to ask the test to do in 62 and a half man days that you're going to actually get done what you need to come and can I help you answer that? One thing I didn't mention, our restoration plan that, um, that I did in 2007, the petra person, Gary Swanson, helped me write this. He did all the costs of this. So all the costs for the pair of tailings, all the costs for um, uh, treatment plants, he did it all here already. So we're, we're on the ground. I want to make that perfectly clear. We don't want to reinvent anything. Uh, if there is cost estimating to do for something that we don't currently have cost estimates, uh, that's where we can come in and, and assist in some of those items. Thank you. Sure. We have a, whole, uh, a pretty big universe of potential projects and all of the project planning documents that have been written up to now, plus 80 some uh, ideas from the public, including such things as, you know, Make sure there's fish in, in historic silver book. How do you how do you take an eighth graders uh, or a seventh graders vision of fishing historic silver book creek into a cost estimate on that? Are you guys prepared to work through those things, or are they not going to make it through the in the first one? Well, there's certainly going to be a tier tier approach to everything. We don't want those to drop out because they lack uh, expertise in order to present a plan. Yeah, well, that's going to be a bad job to definitely we'll work with them. I mean, we're not going to say, here, here you guys go. I mean, yeah. they're here for assistance. Yeah, we may not only go through half the 85,000. I don't know. But I just felt, you know, months ago it hit me. I, you know, I just wanted to have a little, we, me and Pat want to have a little insurance and we have a little backup um, because we have such a short time. Here. So that's just what we're going to do. We want to make sure, too, that one of my concerns It's going to get crazy. I know it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and we're going to need you. Everybody's yeah. helping this table, too. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say me and Pat. Okay. That's darn sure. Sorry, I think it's fine. I just had a question. You know, we're able to, like, vote on funding for a contractor. I mean, I wasn't here when we gave money to the Bureau of Mines for their studies, but I'm just wondering why we can't vote to fund the tree project in a similar fashion. And how do we? Get by the trustee by selecting contractors, etc. If I could, in your process plan, there's a section where we have administrative costs, and, and you need to the gainer scene, not our other councils, we gave you a consultation for all those costs. Typically, if we need to hire a tenth, we do, we don't ask, but you put a greater involvement. So that stage was in here. If you disagree with what we're saying we need for our contracting costs, you can elevate it to the but that's um, an administrative budget. The governor is ultimately the one who decides on the projects. The expedited action request is $150,000. The 
myself, I'm civil and chief technical, and then my sub uh, contractor is uh, product patch and associates, and that's where the water is, water expertise. And then we have a, a few other people involved as well to make some light work and help with any uh, document production. has their own <coughs> consultant that can do this job possibly cheaper, possibly more expensively. Is there some way that you can build in that recommendation from the that option, I would say, from so the individual applicant could do his own? I think the question was, is could we, could we build in the cost for reviewing the and from the applicants themselves, um, which... We asked the applicants to provide as much information as possible. We need that independent evaluation. I think when you see past lists, you see less people really um, had a hard time getting, getting very specific on the cost. You can use that. And the plastic part of it is actually a legal requirement for the restoration. I understood the question. Is that the, did I paraphrase that correctly? Yeah, but uh, some of the applicants took it that we could put in the proposal, we put in the proposal with our own consultant available to provide the final cost once you made that first decision whether it was or not a viable, acceptable project to the council. So what I am asking, can you allow us to compete, put it out on open bid for this engineering part of it, if the council approves the project? Um, this is, this is engineering help for writing the plan and right. the analysis. That's not seeking engineering help to implement projects. That's no, part of a, a later thing. Now, will, can there be back and forth with the people who submitted ideas? Like, can Pat and Greg or Ray go to somebody to bring watch the piece of a boat and say, do you have any more backup? That, that will occur, that back and forth. This isn't about bidding who implements the projects. That's totally later when it's decided what well, projects are approved in the restoration plan. Okay, let me rephrase. Would there be any funding available to provide the additional information, not for implementation, but for decision making, other than other than going to that person? Against him. No. No. I just don't. I think it wouldn't be possible. He was selected from a state-approved list of contractors. Yes. You guys chose him. Just to review the plan and help you get the plan written. Yes. Yeah, that's correct. We, we have a contract with the DEQ, which was a uh, uh, competitive uh, solicitation for us to get on that list in the first place. And then, and then we have an uh, approved contract that has all you know, state grades and everything all, all set up. All Exactly. I didn't get into all that, but yes. yes. Instead of a long-term process. It's worked out well. So what you're saying is Montana State University is not an acceptable uh, design engineer for you? No, it is. Well, I don't think that's all. No one's saying that. Portage would just check their cost estimate, cost estimates of their project. 